want to show you how to kitchener a toe together in a way that gives you no ears. So this one is a wedge toe, so and it's got double lot of shaping, so I've only got a few stitches left to kitchener together. So I've got the front half of the sock on the front needle and the back half on the back needle and my working yarn is attached to the back. So I just need to cut this yarn to a long enough length so I can kitchen these together. So four times the, the width. One, two, three, four, and then a bit for look. And I say a bit for look, about six inches. So using a darning needle, so something that's got a, a blunt end, thread your needle. So often you'll find with kitchen instructions, they do a setup. That works great if you were working to a top and bottom of stitches, but if you're in this situation, you both, you've got stitch heads on both needles and it, you don't need that extra setup because that's what causes the ears because you've got an extra half stitch that you don't need. So I'm just going to go straight into the kitchener stitch. And what I tend to do is I do the full movement on one needle before pulling through. And then that way I always know where I am. And it's a, it's a, it is a bit more efficient as well. So on the front needle, it's go into the stitch knitwise. And, take, and what I do is I use my darning needle to take it off the knee, off the knitting needle. So I knit and off, and then purl wise and on. And at that point, I pull the yarn all the way through. So if you were to just do one stitch, then pull through, and the other stitch and pull through, you, you, this way you're, you're saving half of your time. So the other reason that I do it is because I've done that full movement in one go, I can see that the yarn is coming out the front needle and that means I'm about to work on the back needle. So making sure that the yarn stays underneath the needle tips at all time, you go into the stitch on the back needle purlwise and off. Don't pull it through yet. Knitwise and leave it on and pull through. And you just repeat that. So knitwise and off pearl wise and leave it on and just make sure you pull it up so you've closed it but don't pull it too sort of too tight because you, you don't you want to keep the similar tension to your stitches so keeping underneath my needles at all the time pearl wise and off knit wise and leave it on and then pull through so knit wise and use it with your needle to pull it off pearl wise and leave it on Pearl wise and off, knit wise and on. Knit wise and off. Just cut a thread there. Pearl wise and on. You can see the kitchener stitch that's closed up, that toe end. So pearl wise and off, knit wise and on. Knit wise and off, pearl wise and on. Keeping hold of the needles at this point because they, they can fall out. Pearl wise and off, knit wise and on. And because you've, you've not got any more stitches to do that full movement you can just take your needles out now now this side hasn't got any ears that's nice and smooth this side has got this little sticky up stitch that's happening you can easily sort that by you can see that the yarn is coming out of the center of this stitch so you just want to go over the top make sure you've, you've, you're going on this side of this stitch and just into the into your sock, I'll just put my hand inside. So I'll do that again. So you've got your, your stitch here, just make sure you're going over the top so you're, you, you're keeping hold of that stitch and your yarn's going, going over it. And I'm just going to go into the inside of the sock, there. 
and as I pull that through it pulls it in sorts out that, that stitch and you've got a perfect kitchener with no ears on the end <laughs>